what is going on guys and welcome to bootstrap tutorial in this video we're going to actually create a scroll spy that is vertical so you can see over here i have my pills my nav pills and as i'm scrolling down you can see that once i hit about it actually lights up and the same thing happens with an info right so let's stop talking and let's actually get to coding so over here what i'm going to do again i'm just going to delete this um, because we want to create it ourselves right so this is our example and over here we're just going to make it a little bit more room and we're just going to delete all this right so i'm just going to say that this is we're going to delete and we're going to create our own right so i'm just going to delete these attributes for my body and we're going to create everything fresh right so the first thing what we want to do is actually create a container and i'm going to say that this is going to be div and it's going to have a class of container over here like this and then within that container we're actually going to place a div with a class of row right and within that row we should place two things that obviously would be spanning uh, on one side and then the, on the other side so the first one we're going to place is actually going to be nav and we're going to say that this is going to have a class of let's say columns over here extra small for the extra small screens that's going to be spanning three columns right and after that we're going to place an id but we're just going to leave it blank for now right and then after that within the nav we're going to create a unordered list that has a class and it's going to have a nav a nav pills class and they're going to be stacked uh, vertically right so i'm going to say nav and this is going to be stacked and now i have my pills and over here we're going to create a list items that has a links over here like this and the links we're going to have an href and over here we're going to write home and over here we're going to also write, I'm going to write home and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy them let's say three times right something like this and here we're going to say that this is going to be about and this is going to be about and over here we're going to say that this is going to be info info like this and this is also going to be info right so now we have three of them now what we want to do over here we're going to create uh, some divs right the, the other div that's going to be on the right hand side over here so we're going to say that this is going to be div uh, then this is going to have a class and the class is obviously going to be column that's spanning uh, nine right over here because we have the first one that's spanning three and the sum should always be 12 right and over here we're going to say that this is going to be a div that has a id over here and id is going to be over here home right because this is going to be connecting actually to this one and within the id of home we're just going to say that this is going to have a class class is going to be background danger text center over here something like this and within the div we're going to place a heading one hello home and i don't know this is we're just going to place a paragraph this is text something like this something really really basic and what we want to do over here we're just going to copy this again and we're just going to paste it a couple of times paste it like this and now we have a about section and we're just going to say that this is going to be default default that's going to be the col background color this is going to be info info and over here we're going to write again info and this is going to be hello info and that one is going to be hello about right so now we have three sections what we want to do over here we want to actually make them bigger so i'm going to say that in my style tags i'm going to say about and home and also a info i would want them to be like i don't know height 600 pixels right something like this so now all of them have the height but the problem you can see that nothing is happening right one of and one of the reasons why nothing is happening is because i haven't added these attributes over here so the first attribute is going to be data spy and i'm going to say that this is going to be scroll and then i'm going to say the data target over here like this 
data target and now I actually need to create this ID. So I'm just going to say a simple ID. I'm going to say scroll and here I'm going to also say scroll, right? And after that, what we want to do is actually create over here this that data offset attribute. So I'm going to say offset over here like this. And I'm just going to say that this is going to be like something like 10, right? So that's going to be the default one, but I'm just going to write the same one. And after that, what we want to do is actually, you can see that everything is working. However, our on our list should stay actually all the time fixed, right? So we just go back over here and we say that uh, position, okay, are fixed, right? So now if we say refresh, you can see over here as I'm scrolling down, and uh, let's make this page a little bit bigger. As I'm scrolling down, now it's going to be about, you see this one lights up, then the next one info lights up. So it's pretty much we have created a vertical scroll spy. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.